Ooh, did you hear that thunder? Wow. Hi, everybody. Gary Heidrich here with this week's Fishing Chums Fishing Report. Raining out today. Maybe it's going to be better this weekend, hopefully. And we have some pretty good reports for you. Here we are around the 10th of August already. My golly, the summer has just went by in a hurry. And we have pretty good reports coming out of Truman Lake today. I uh, had a friend out there fishing the flats yesterday with jig and minnows around some cedar trees. Caught a nice limit of fish. Good report from Stockton out there. You guys around Stockton are doing a good job catching some walleye, big bluegill, bass fishing's been decent, and uh, some white bass. Boy, the fishing has really been a few crappie out there as well. So we'll be talking about Stockton. My gosh, it looks good for the upcoming weekend. Got a fair report from out at uh, Table Rock. Catfish Rick Ellis and Brandon and I were out there uh, yesterday. Picked up a few bass off the points in shallow water up there feeding on those small shad. We'll be talking about this. Fair report out at Beaver Lake. And we're going to be talking about bull shoals and Tanny Como. Hey, I want to thank all the viewers over on Facebook. My gosh, this past few weeks we've had thousands of viewers on Facebook. God bless you. Thank you very much. Our viewers over on YouTube. And hey, don't go anywhere. Stick with us throughout the program because at the end of the program, Brandon and I have some great photos. Oh, some fun photos. So don't go anywhere. So we've got a pretty good report for you for this time of the year, kind of in the mid-summer, uh, late summer uh, time. It can be real tough this time of the year, but I tell you what, it's not too bad. So let's go fishing. Fish and chum. Okay, uh, raining outside, uh, it's been rainy, and I think, uh, I tell you what, we've had a lot of rain this year, haven't we? But it looks like it's going to be a decent weekend. I hope this rain's not going to mess up the fishing that was developing out at Truman and Stockton. I hope this doesn't affect it for the upcoming weekend, because it was getting pretty good out there. So we'll be talking about that in a minute. Okay, let's go out to Beaver Lake, and let's go to the photo of the week. Boy, this is a beautiful photo. Uh, this comes from Richard Cross, and this photo is Mark Saladin. He caught this fish a couple of days ago, a beautiful rainbow trout. Look at the color on this fish. Down below Beaver Dam, and, and boy, they catch some really nice trout out there. And so if you're looking for something different to do this weekend, you may want to go to Beaver Lake, fish down below, catch some of those nice trout. Boy, uh, Mark, that was a beautiful, beautiful trout, that's for sure. And thank you, uh, thank you, Richard. God bless you, man. Uh, beaver water temperature this morning, before I was doing this report, I called my reports around 86 degrees on the surface. They've been picking up uh, a few fish out at Beaver. The, the uh, bass fishing's been fair for the few people that's been going out there pitching some jigs around some of the brush piles. And we've had some reports, a little top water action out there. And also some bass have been caught, a, I tell you what, on some swim, swim baits. And they've been picking up some fish when it's overcast and windy on square bill crankbait. So check out bass fishing at Beaver. Now once in a while, a nice uh, striper can be caught out there at the lower end in the clearer water. And, you know, we've had some pretty good reports at Beaver on the, the, the uh, bluegill fishing, some big old hand-sized bluegill being caught out there in about 20, 25 feet of water, uh, just a hook and just a split shot up above that hook and like a half a night crawler right off the bottom. Boy, some nice bluegill. And we've had some reports of few crappie being caught out at Beaver as well. So check out Beaver. And uh, thanks again, Mark, for that photo of the week. Table Rock, we were out there yesterday, uh, Catfish Rick and Brandon and I. Water temperature when we left uh, around noon got up to around 87 degrees. I think it was like 85 when we first got there in the morning. Fish the point. This is what I'd recommend at uh, Table Rock for the upcoming weekend. Go p what I call point hopping. Just go point hopping from one point to the other. And a lot of these, we fished the White River arm, and a lot of these points had real small uh, shad on them and uh, new hatch. And boy, those bass are coming up there and feeding on those uh, small shad. And so we were using, I tell you what, a good bait to use right now would be crankbaits. I was using a square build crankbait, 
and we picked up uh, several uh, bass, but they're nothing real big yesterday. But it was fun getting out and uh, fishing up that White River arm. Once in a while, the boys are going out and picking up a walleye in that White, uh, excuse me, the White River arm as well. Seems like a lot of these fish are suspended right now, so you have to get out and put quite a bit of line out and use your flicker shad or flicker minnows, and occasionally you'll pick yourself up a walleye, up that White River arm especially. And getting back to the bass fishing, uh, hey, let's go out here. Ryan, look at Ryan. He'd been out uh, just the other day and picked up this beautiful bass, and he's been using Texas-style Texas, style, Texas uh, plastic worms, I should say, fishing some of the brush piles. Also, uh, Ryan's been doing a little bit of uh, drop shotting as well, picking up some nice fish. Good going, Ryan. Nice, nice photo, nice photo. Keep it up, buddy. Okay, we are also wrapping up... Uh, Table Rock, uh, they've had some uh, fair fishing with drop shot, nothing great. It's slowed down a little bit, but they're going out in that 40-foot range and drop shotting around some of the, uh, the brush and trees, I should say, picking up an occasional fish when you get into them. And we've had some reports of dragon jigs casting that peanut butter and jelly jig, casting out on long gravel points like we've been talking the last couple of weeks and working those uh, peanut butter and jelly jigs and dragging them and casting them you might catch yourself a fish doing this as well had a, a little report of some crappie being caught up in the cape fair area around some of the deep water brush piles 15 18 maybe 20 feet of water jigging minnow has been the best but you have to search them out search them out okay let's go out at lake Tanicomo. water temperature always a little cooler there with all that water coming out of table rock dam deep 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 water 51 degrees out there this morning and the early morning early early morning hasn't been very good and late afternoon hasn't been very good they've been releasing some turbines some water around nine o'clock in the morning up to four turbines so that's a fast drift but i tell you folks that water is really clear so if you're going to tanicomo lighten up on your line i was talking to some guys down at Cooper Creek at that little fishing dock a couple of days ago, and uh, two or three of the guys had real heavy line. Looked like maybe 12, 15 pounds. That usually don't get it, especially this time of year. You have to go light. I love four-pound tests, but this time of the year, I'll even go to two-pound tests and use those small jigs. Boy, I tell you what, you can have a lot of fun doing this, but you got to lighten up on that line. And by the way, they have been drifting night crawlers. Boy, they're still catching fish out there on night crawlers. Might try a Lake Tanicomo this weekend. Out at Bull Shoals, that water temperature was 85 degrees this morning. Been a little tough at the Bull. A little tough, guys. A little tough. But that water looks good out on the main lake, the main channel. It's clear. And uh, the, the, you got to get your good electronics and get off some of these points and secondary points and really follow your electronics and find shad. And if you find shad 15, 20, 25, 30 feet of water, this is when you might pick up some fish. If they're close to the bottom, go to a spoon. And a lot of times they'll be suspended, so get out there with a grub. I like like an eighth or a quarter ounce jig head with a four inch. I like that, that smoke with the red flakes or salt and pepper. And pitch that out, count it down, and swim it in. You might catch some bass this way. They have been picking up a few fish out there on drop shots and even some swim baits. And when it's been windy and uh, some of that wind getting up on those points, some square bill crankbaits have been working. Fair, just fair top water fishing early morning, late evening. They're still picking up a few nice walleye at the bull. They've been fishing. Uh, I tell you what, they got to get out early in the morning or late evening, trolling flicker shads or flicker, flicker minnows and getting off those points and secondary points. So you're not catching a lot of fish, but the fish that they are catching, the walleye are really nice out at Bull Shoals. Stockton Lake, my gosh, this might be the lake of the weekend. I tell you, been having some good reports out there. We have several nice photos coming out of Stockton. And uh, that water temperature at Stockton this morning was 86 degrees. Been picking up walleye out there anywhere from on the point, secondary points. Try a little shallow, especially if it gets this overcast weather. We've had reports from 10 to 15 to 20 feet of water and dragging uh, night crawlers, a jig and night crawler. Some people are using half night crawlers and they put a little color on that jig head, like a fluorescent pink. I love that out at Stockton with a half a night crawler. And they've been picking up some fish on orange and also of course chartreuse, but boy, don't overlook that fluorescent pink. And there's been a few limits of walleye caught out at Stockton in the last few days, you know, nice fish and some nice fish as well. 
And speaking of this, Katie, Katie Christensen, Christen, Christensen, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm choking on something here. Look at this beautiful walleye, Katie. God bless you. Caught that down by the dam the other day. Boy, really a nice fish. Good going, Katie. That's out at Stockton. See what you can do out there? Also, Hunter uh, Ritter been going out at Stockton. He was out recently fishing the points and secondary points, uh, dragging some bass jigs, casting some jigs, and look at the fish he caught. He said he had never got into so many smallmouth bass in his life. Beautiful, beautiful fish, Hunter. I love that name, Hunter. And also, uh, Hunter's been going out at Table Rock picking up some nice fish as well. Good going, Hunter. And also, Sam Crawford was out the other day fishing the dam. Look at the bass Sam caught at Stockton. My golly, man. You're the man, Sam. <laughs> that's a heck of a nice fish, that's for sure. So that's uh, all happening out at Stockton. Been picking up some fish, uh, some crappie at Stockton as well. Uh, they're getting up in the river areas and finding big balls of shad or out on the main lake. Some people have been trolling crankbaits and picking up some nice crappie. Boy, it looks like Stockton's going to be the place to be this upcoming weekend. In fact, uh, we're going to go over to Palm de Terre. You know, we, it's hard to get reports out of Palmy. That water temperature was 86 degrees out there this morning. And Palm de Terre is about nine feet high. And uh, it's slow overall, but I tell you, the, the crappie fishermen out there know what they're doing. They're going out and catching some nice crappie. And, uh, in fact, Rob Dowell, look at this nice fish, a bunch of fish he caught just a couple days ago out at Palm de Terre. So don't overlook Palmy, you know. Get out there and try it and get in some of those brush piles. I know you can catch some crappie out there. And we've had some reports the bass fishing has been pretty fair in the morning and late evening hours. Try a little topwater fishing and fish some of those brush piles with jigs or Texas rig plastic worms. That sounds good. Truman Lake. Well, we've got a fair report out at Truman, you know. I uh, hope, uh, hope this rain recently don't mess it up. But uh, the crappie are making a pretty good move out on the main lake at Truman right now on the flats. On the flats, anywhere from, uh, I would say, 15, 20, 25, and 30 feet of water. Find those big cedar trees. Find the cedar trees. Get out there with a jig. Uh, uh, jig and minnow combination. Minnows are very important at Truman right now. And just experiment on your depth. Start at the bottom and just work that bait up slow till you find that magic depth. And you might have to wade through a lot of small crappie, but I'm telling you, there, some of the boys are getting some real nice crappie out at Truman on the flats. And around KK Island, no huge run, but they are picking up a walleye occasionally out there working it. And they've been picking up a few hybrids and white bass trolling on occasion as well at Truman. All right, let's go out to Lake of the Ozarks. Speaking of Lake of the Ozarks, all that good fishing at the upper end down below the dam at Truman. But out on the main lake, they're catching some nice fish at Lake of the Ozarks. In fact, uh, hey, they're catching crappie. It's uh, 87 degrees on the surface out there this morning. They're catching crappie off the points and secondary points, especially ones with some brush on it, in about 15 to 20 feet of water. And look at Kevin Mitchell. He was out the other day and picked up this beautiful five-pound bass. Kevin's a teacher. Good going, Kevin. Nice bass, nice bass. And also, we have a report. Look at this photo. Ryan and Madison Smith was out there recently using a Bandit, three, a Bandit, a Bandit 300, that's a little, a little crankbait, uh, doing some trolling in 12 to 18 feet of water up in the Grand Glaze Arm. And uh, the dad got these boys in, oh, dad got these boys in some nice crappie. So the crappie are being caught up there on crankbaits. Some people are using some jigs and minnows, getting in those brush piles on the points, on the points. And i tell you what, as uh, um, Kevin just showed, there's catching some bass out there on the points and secondary points as well. Some people are using jigs in the brush pile. Other people are using Texas uh, plastic worm style, you know, flipping some uh, plastic worms Texas style, rigged, I should say. And they've been picking up some fish on crankbaits, square bill crankbaits, and also some swim baits out there. So Lake of the Ozarks looks good for the upcoming weekend. And, you know, they're catching some big blues at the upper end, as I mentioned. But also some of the boys have been going down from... Uh, from the Truman area and going way down into the main lake area and drifting cut shad and picking up some real nice catfish at the Lake of the Ozarks. Lake the Ozarks, hey, lake, the lake looks good for the upcoming weekend. 
Out at Norfolk, a final report, it was 88 degrees out there this morning. Still, the lake's high. They've been picking up some fair bass fishing in the morning hours, uh, using a little bit of topwater fishing, also some jigs and plastic worms, some crankbait fishing taking place out there. Few crappie, didn't get a good report on crappie this week, but I tell you what has started at Norfolk, they've been picking up some walleye out there in about 30 feet of water. A few limits caught this last week. And uh, not many people fishing for them, but they are picking up some walleye out there in about 30 feet of water. Some people have been spooning. Other people have been using jig and night crawlers. So Norfolk may be a good bet for the upcoming weekend. Well, we had a lot of photos for you. We had a good time here on the program. We have some great photos coming your way here in a second. But we do want to remind you to uh, be sure to uh, like and share. We really appreciate that very much. And also, uh, I tell you what, subscribe. I forgot to mention this. Just get right up there. If I find that subscribe button and push that button, <laughs> Brandon put it up there. And that way you'll never miss out on any of the fun on YouTube. And by, by the way, you guys over on Facebook, gosh, thank you. A lot, a lot of viewers on Facebook. And if you have any photos or information you want to share with us, I miss, I miss some photos, and you know who you are, but uh, I'll get those on next week. I had a little bit of problem. Uh, I tell you, I'll get those on next week. But uh, if you have any uh, uh, information or photos, send us to our, at us at our email at fishingchums at gmail.com. God bless you for being with us. Get rid of this rain. Hope the rain don't mess us up for the weekend, but it's going to be halfway decent weather for the weekend. And uh, we'll be back next week right here on Fishing Chums Fishing Report. Brandon, let's roll those photos. See you all later, guys. Have a safe weekend.